Hey guys, Beer Fridge here. I just wanted to do something different today. Um, I've been talking about adding additional beer content to the YouTube and to the stream. So one of the things I want to do this time is I got my Tavor shipment in, which includes all of my, my monthly beer that I order via Tavor. Um, if you are a Tavor user, um, you can use uh, my code. So, and uh, and it'll give you some uh, some discounts to get started. If you are not, um, that's okay. It's a really cool thing. You should probably check it out. Go and see if they offer delivery in your area, if that's something you're interested in. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's see what my box has to offer. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ain't ships, red cup, blue shit. Alright, let's see what this box has to offer. So keep in mind that any links or codes uh, will be down in the description as well. Uh, let's, let's get after it. Alright, first up. Oh boy, do we have a big one here. Mexican Cake from Westbrook Brewing, Imperial Stout, 10.5% ABV. It's a malt beverage with uh, cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, cinnamon, and habanero peppers added. So a little bit of a Mexican hot chocolate. We've got uh, Oliphant Brewing, now with more talent. So this is Imperial Stout with graham crackers, marshmallows, cocoa nibs, and that s'mores flavor. I usually really, really enjoy s'more stouts. So this is 10% ABV. Nice and warm and fuzzy inside with these first two. All right, so now we have, are you picking up what I'm putting down? This is a hazy triple IPA with Meridian, Mateka, and El Dorado Cryo Hops. And this is from Jester King down in Austin, Texas. So, it's a cool little game. All right, now we have Todd's Cupcakes. So this is a mint chocolate chip pastry stout. So single origin cocoa. Madagascar vanilla and mint leaves, 12.2% ABV. Okay, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like I didn't get anything that's light in alcohol content. All right, now we have, ooh, that's cool camera. Now we have the seasonal series, Sweets Caramel Apple, a sour ale with apples, caramel, cinnamon, brown sugar, and lactose. This is from Mountains Walking Brewery, 8% ABV. Got a really cool can art on this. So, should be interesting. And, right, lots of uh, cool flavors in there. I'm excited. It's gonna be a big box here, too. All right, we got uh, Cariolis Effect. This is a New Zealand style IPA. That's a, that's a first for me. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's going to be cool. From New Image Brewing. IPA made with New Zealand hops only. That was tasty. When all this is done, I will set it up and take a picture. And it'll be posted to social media. So everybody can see all the cans all lined up together. So now I have another one from Todd's Cupcakes. Out of Wolf's Ridge Brewing. The style is the coffee cake pastry stout. Similar can style, similar art, 12.2% ABV. Now we have Modest Brewing out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is their double local dream beer. Um, this is a double dry hop New England double IPA. So I had the, the original dream beer um, last week. So this could be good. 8.2% ABV.
So this is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps, a white Russian milk stout from New Image Brewing. The dude. That's pretty cool. All right. This has really cool can art. Looks like a really, really high elephant. This is King of Everything, 10% ABV, a triple IPA with Citra, Mosaic, Azaka, and Marshmallow. So this is Tripping Animals Brewing out of Doral, Florida. That'd be cool. Ooh, another one of the Todd's Cupcakes. This is the Mexican Hot Chocolate Pastry Stout. Wolf's Ridge, 12.2% ABV. I'm glad I got some dark ones in here because it's it's not stout season right now. The fact I was able to land so many stouts is fantastic. It is my favorite favorite style of beer. Ooh, now we got a Hoppin' Frog. This is Extended Barrel Age Doris the Destroyer Imperial Stout. 10.5% ABV. Aged five times longer for a super deep finish. Super deep finish. They always have cool can art though. There's a lot. All right, now we have Touching the Sun from Icarus Brewing. The triple IPA with lactose, 10.5% ABV. Now we have a Sticky Icky. This is a small can. So really small 12 ounce can. So, kind of shaped like a white claw, that could be dangerous. All right, but this is Sticky Icky. It's an imperial stout with milk sugar, cinnamon, pecans, salted caramel, and butter pecan flavoring. 11% ABV. Really cool can art though. They do a really awesome job at the Brewing Project. It's one of my favorite places. You guys can't see it, but it's a super giant box below me. I'm not just pulling these things out of my shorts. All right, this is Hubbard's Cave El Zacation. So 12% ABV, Imperial Stout, fermented on toasted oak with almond flour, cocoa powder, cinnamon sticks, vanilla beans, ancho chilies, guajillo chilies, and habanero chilies. Oh my goodness, that sounds crazy spicy. Probably have something on hand in case that one goes badly on the stream. We'll see how it goes. All right, now we have Take 10, Imperial Stout with pretzels, chocolate sauce, caramel, and peanuts. From Perennial Artisan Ales, 11% ABV. That's really cool. Strongest geometric shape. So with uh, Idaho 7 Eldorado Mosaic. Oh, I love Mosaic. It's my favorite type of hops. This is from Barrier Brewing out of New York. New England style IPA, 10.3% ABV. All right, now we have Drecker, Lemon Merengue Pie, Secret Handshake, Milkshake IPA. Drecker out of North Dakota, fantastic brewery. This is gonna be delicious. I like how uh, they list everything on the can, right? Listed out your malts, right? Pale two row oats, uh, Caraform Spelt and Carapils, Hops, Cashmere Mosaic, Lemon Drop and Citra. Even the yeast they use, House IPA yeast. Then they list the gimmicks, uh, lemon, marshmallows, graham cracker, lactose, and vanilla beans. It's listed all out on the can, like there's no, no hiding anything. This is what it has. All right, now we have uh, another Coriolis effect. It's a triple dry hop, double IPA from New Image Brewing. EDH, Sabro, BioT, triple dry hopped. So these are the ones that have the, the New Zealand hops in them. So really cool stuff. 
coming out of Colorado. Getting closer to the end of the box here. All right, now we have from Listerman Brewing, uh, Smorty, double marshmallow pastry style with vanilla, chocolate, graham cracker, nutmeg, lactose, and massive amounts of marshmallows. So, at 8.5% uh, ABV. They always have really cool bottle art and can art though. Feel a bit like Santa reaching into the bag. All right, I was really, really excited for this one. So this is a five times stout uh, quintuple, right? And this is from Thri Fire Threads, Five Threads Brewing Company. So it's a quintuple stout, right? So this one goes through the process five times and it's 17% ABV. So this one will make you warm and fuzzy inside. Probably shouldn't drink too many of those, but I only have one. All right, now from one of my favorite breweries on the planet, The Brewery out in California. This is Black Tuesday. This is their Imperial Stout um, aged in red wine barrels with the wine cask. It sounds delicious. Always tend to be a little fruity and bridge that gap between beer and wine. I think we're down to the final two here uh, from, oh, it's a collaboration between Phase 3 Brewing Company and Weldworks. Um, this is called Tropical District. Milkshake IPA with guava, coconut, lactose, mosaic, and sabro. 8.2% um, ABV. All right, I think, I think this is the last one. And you're like, oh god, there's so many beers there. Oh, it's another one from Todd's Cupcakes. Uh, Wolf's Ridge Brewing Peanut Butter Pastry Stout. So, do love a good peanut butter stout. Always delicious. Alright guys, I think that is all of the beer I had in this one box. So, I do appreciate you checking out some, uh, some additional content that I'm putting together. Um, if this is something that you guys like, please make sure you leave a comment and let me know. Hit that like button. If you do not subscribe already, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do more of this stuff in the future. Hope to see you all there. Thank you.